So I'm going to show you how to turn on grading periods. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to open up a course that is a year long. Uh, you don't have grading periods in semester long courses because your course ends at the end of the semester. So in a year long course, I'm going to click on grades on the left hand side. And from here, under the view menu at the top, there's an option that says filters. And if I go to filters and pull over to grading periods, it will now give me a semester one or semester two uh, filter. Now, which assignments show up in semester one or semester two is entirely dependent on due dates. So every one of your assignments must have a due date and whatever um, semester that due date falls within will show which semester that one uh, will show up in. Uh, same thing for your categories and your totals. Now the other really cool thing that happens with grading periods is if I go to my main page of my course and I go to assignments, there is now a list in assignments for semester one and semester two. So if I click on semester one, I will see all of my semester one assignments and categories. And if I go to semester two, I probably won't see any categories or may just see one here called assignments. Your categories will only show up once you start posting grades in those categories for the second semester dates. So I created an assignment here, made it due during second semester and put it in the IXL category when I created the assignment and then boom, lo and behold, that semester two category shows up. So, uh, and again, you only see these grade level or grading period options if you turn that on in grades. So that's how grading periods work.